Well, welcome back to the channel. And it's starting to rain. Isn't that great? But I got a battery here. I'm going to do what I've been meaning to do for my whole vacation. And I come to the last day and it's going to pour a lot of rain out here today. So I'm going to try to remove the Ford Freestyle out of the low spot it's in. Because it's in a low spot. And get it out of there because it's soaking wet here all the time. I don't even know why I put it here. That's just crazy. But I did. So, I got to get her moved out of here. So, I'm going to get this battery in and see if this freestyle will crank up. It's been a while since it's ran. It's been a long while, actually. So, I don't even know if it'll run. What was it? Oh, it's a robin. <laughs> I thought something was beside me. Ah. Nerve wracking, wouldn't you say? Let's see if the key works. Oh, yeah, it does. Dang it. Uh, yeah. Uh, I hit the wrong button. Okay. Well, I know this battery has power. So, I'm going to shut the hood here. Sorry for this, but I gotta get her moved because it's gonna rain and God, it's so wet right here. It's terrible. It's wet down here. It's wet under the car. I don't even know what the tires are pumped up anymore. It's sunk into the ground so much. Hey, I got a tire in there. Huh. Neat. What am I using this for? Storage now? Oh my word. Well, I guess I am. Well, hopefully the transmission works, because it uh, definitely stopped working at the end of last year. I never even cleaned this thing out. So, come on. Let hope you start. The radio always comes on. That wasn't me. And no. Okay, um... Let me get my booster pack on it. Or tighten up the clamps. Okay, tightened up the battery with my nice chrome vandinium power fist ratcheting uh, little wrench. It's awesome. And now let's see. Where are the keys? Why didn't I leave the keys in here? I don't know. Okay. Please start this time. Starts right up. Uh, that's why I love this car. Uh, let's see, the uh, oil life is zero. Wow. ABS? What's wrong with the ABS? Check engine. Uh, check transmission. Yeah, yeah. That's what it said to me. Check track control. What? Why am Oh. It's probably throwing codes, right? I got you. Uh, man, I miss driving this. She's coming out. There we are. She's coming out. Oh, I can hear those brakes. This transmission is not happy. I'm going to pull this thing up here to the garage and pump the tires up before I put it away again. I really want to get this fixed. I really want to find a transmission. You know, I've been actively trying to find the transmission for this. It's very hard. Very, very hard to find a transmission for 2005. Uh, I see my wrench outside in the rain. Or my... It's not a wrench. Oh, man. I better get that in. Um, okay, we'll turn her off for now. I'll leave the key here. And I'll blow the tires up. Oh, that vehicle did feel kind of sluggish coming out of there. This one's almost flat. This one is definitely flat. Look at those rotors. Just rusted right up. Oh, my word. 
all this stuff was new like a year ago oh this one's flat in the front and it's flat okay as you can see i drove on them flat because Ah, look at the mud on the tires. Oh, isn't that great? Okay, I'll have to get these all pumped up. And what's pouring off the back of my car here? Is that? Oh, uh, maybe it's just rainwater. I hope it's rainwater. Okay, let me take care of the tires. So I got them all pumped up. Actually, I pumped them all up to 35. See how long that will last. And, uh, yeah, might be able to move it now a little better. But uh, I'll just move her somewhere here in the yard and uh, try and find the transmission I need for it because uh, I got to admit, I like her. So I got out of the rain. Like, oh, my word, it's raining. Oh, never stops. But uh, to be honest, I, I did have this vehicle sold at the end of winter there. The guy wanted to buy it. His wife has a freestyle with an engine that's bad. The great old three liter double overhead cam. Quite a nice engine. I gotta say, that's why, probably one of the reasons I like this the most. It's got that nice engine in it. And uh, he wanted to buy it, but he didn't actually he spent the money he was going to buy it he found a uh, engine three liter on kijiji but and the guy said yeah perfectly working when he took it out of his 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 car i can't remember what it was in perfectly working but uh he started outside and the engine was full of water and the engine's now just uh i don't know a uh, anchor it is totally toast inside. So then the guy didn't have the money to buy this. And I'm kind of glad because I, I kind of want to get a transmission for it. But I didn't want it just lying around in the yard. So, but I am going to keep it because I, I like this car. And everything kind of works on it. Like, works pretty well. Except for the all these checks coming up in zero oil life. Yeah, change oil. Yeah, maybe. It's on a timer of some sort. That's probably why. But yeah, I'm going to definitely keep looking for the transmission. I think I can get one shipped in from the States. That's ah, going to cost me, though. going to cost me big times. So I just keep checking my wreckers around here. Sometimes they say, yeah, they get uh, Ford Freestyles in. And uh, there's a couple at a wrecker, but I'd have to pull the transmission myself at a wrecker. I don't really want to do that. So I'm just going to park this for now. And hopefully uh, I'll find a transmission in the future. Maybe find one and this can be a nice little project for next year. All right. Thanks for watching.